this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's A Wonderful World! And today, we are going to be trying to battle Okram again. And if you remember, I've battled him a lot of times, and most times I've either been defeated or he's run away, but I have defeated him once. And the reason I need to defeat him again is because he didn't drop enough, basically. He let me down. He dropped some, um, uh, some souls of blight, uh, but he only dropped ten of them. And that wasn't enough to really use them for, for anything. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go now and try and, uh, and battle him again. But first, I need to be able to, to spawn him again. And uh, to do that, I need a suspicious looking skull. And, uh, I've almost got everything that I need. So, I basically, I need to make a, um... Uh, two mechanical eyes, a mechanical skull, and then get a bunch of souls of light and souls of night, uh, and uh, use some uh, dynamite, dynamite uh, as well. So <laughs> let's see what I can do for now. Then, so uh, I need the bones for the uh, the the skull. So I need thirty bones, three souls of light, and three souls of night. And so I think I've got enough to do that anyway. Let's just kind of keep everything. Um, uh, on me. Um, well, tell you what, let's just go and get everything we need first, and then we'll just come back and make everything. I think that's going to be the easiest way to, to do things. So I think I worked it out that overall, I need about 20 souls of, uh, of light, and about 8 souls of, uh, of night. So I only need 3 more souls of night, and like 8 more souls of light. And oh! Hello! Hello, Elodon! <laughs> Hanging out with my snowmen. Got anything interesting? Oh, look at that! A revolver! I've not seen that before. Um... Let's, let's buy a revolver, shall we? Let's go and try and, uh, and check that out. Uh, so it's 10 gold, apparently, it costs. So let's go and uh, go to my little money bank and go and grab 10 pieces of gold. And yeah, let's go and buy a revolver. I wonder if that's... Is that... Are revolvers good? All the people that know Terraria better than me, are revolvers in any way decent? I feel like they can't be too good because I don't hear them mentioned very much. Normally, like, they're the really good weapons uh, you hear people talking a lot about. I don't hear the revolver mentioned too much. But yeah, let's uh, go and give it a go. Uh, so what does it, what does it use? It uses, um... I don't know what it uses. Can I? Can I, oh, there I got. I uses the uh, the same bullet uh, that my uh, my mega shark uses. So uh, let's kind of switch around to these. Uh, uh, let's use these nano bullets for now. I kind of want to save the uh, the curse bullets uh, for when we go up uh, against Orcram. But yeah, uh, let's uh, let's go and start shooting some some enemies with my my revolver. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get the let's get the souls of light first because they're going to be the um uh, the more difficult one to get. Well, they're not more difficult to get. But I just need more of them, uh, I guess. So let's um uh, go down here. And if you don't know how to get the the souls of light. Uh, you basically just need to go to the uh, the underground hollow, uh, just like I'm doing. And basically, enemy, uh, any enemy that you take out down here uh, has a chance to, to to drop one. And oh, I've gone... I've, this is kind of linked up to the corruption here, I think, hasn't it? It's weird, like, the whole world now is really just completely covered uh, in uh, in hollow and uh, and uh, corruption. It's a bit sad, because I kind of miss my... I miss my wonderful world the way it was. Like, I think it's still... It's still wonderful, but it's not... It's not quite as wonderful, because now it's kind of covered in this uh, this horrible corruption. I will be honest, I really don't... I don't really like the way that hard mode works in this. I don't like the the battling to try and keep the, the corruption and hollow away. I don't know. I, but for some reason, I just I just don't find it fun. I don't know why. I just find I find it stressful and a bit I just a bit of an, like an irritation, I guess. And I know a lot of people love it. So I'm not saying oh it's it's wrong or it's bad or it shouldn't be in the, the game or anything. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I think I'd prefer it without it. I kind of wish that maybe it would add another biome, like it would add the hollow or something, and maybe make the corruption tougher, uh, but just kind of leave it where it is, I guess. But I know it's just kind of such a, a huge part of the the game, and so many people like it. Uh, yeah, they probably um uh, wouldn't want to 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 change it. Uh, they're also probably going to be doing um. Uh, Terraria 2 as well, and I haven't yet uh, decided whether I'd do that. Like, I've been thinking as well, like, if I do do, like, uh, a future Terraria games, because there's, like, um, I can't remember what it's called, but there's, like, another one as well, isn't there? Which isn't, like, Terraria 2, but it's, like, it's kind of like a reimagining, I guess, of Terraria a little bit, and it looks a lot better and stuff. And so I don't know whether I'd do that on um on a, on PC or console because uh, the controls are better on PC. Like I've never played it on PC, and I can just kind of imagine that uh, using a mouse and keyboard might be a little bit easier to to control. And you know, I am a, a console gamer mainly, so I do mainly play on console. So uh, that's kind of like I only started playing Terraria when it came out on console. You know, it'd been out on PC for a while before then. But I just feel like it is a, a little bit fiddly, especially after the last 
last episode <laughs> when I was trying to build. And I know a lot of that was me rather than the, the game, but I do just feel like if I could just have a mouse and just click on exactly, you know, where I want uh, things to, to get destroyed, uh, that might have made things a little bit easier. And actually, there is some some iron here. It's funny that iron is actually something that I kind of keep running low on at the moment, so I always try and uh, make sure I gather that when I find them. I've done quite well, though. I found uh, quite a few souls of light. And let's uh, let's try out the, uh, the old revolver then, shall we? Uh, so uh, it shoots... It shoots relatively- oh, oh look, I'm using the nano bullet, so that's uh, confusing the, the enemies. I wasn't sure what was uh, <laughs> what was happening then. It just kind of ran off with a question mark. So what does it say? It does um, 17 range damage, and that does uh, 23. So if I'm honest, I think this revolver is pretty rubbish compared to the, the, the Mega Shark, because it shoots a lot slower and it's weaker. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using it, but it's a new toy. It's a new thing to, to play around with. And how good is this pickaxe, by the way? Just look how quickly it just destroys absolutely everything. That's going to be uh, very handy for when I go on a, another big mining trip. All right then, let's go and keep looking down here. Oh, there's kind of a... um. An underground mushroom biome here. It looks like it uh, still allows me to, to get souls of light down here. Uh, so yeah, let's go around here and grab some uh, more of these glowing mushrooms as well. Because these are really useful for uh, a bunch of the different potions. Of course, like uh, uh, shine potions, uh, it's really important to, to have these. And seems as I can get the uh, uh, the souls of light. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is probably a good place to be. How many do I have, by the way? Oh, I got 19. So I did the, the maths and I worked out that I think I need 20. And so what that means is I probably need more than 20 because I probably did the maths wrong. So let me just go while I'm down here. Let me just try and get a few more just for safety. You know, they're always going to be used eventually. Like it's always good to uh, to have a, a few spare, you know, just in case I don't defeat Orcram this time or I want to defeat Orcram again. It's always nice to, to have a few souls of light spare anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's not go all the way back up yet. Let's get some more. And oh, look, I got a soul of night. Ah, uh, look, actually, this is quite good, actually. Let's, uh, before we head up then, let's kind of just keep heading... um. Uh, this way, because now we're in the uh, the underground corruption. I can kind of just go back and forth between here and get both of them. So I think, I think that I only need to to get like uh, another three of these uh, these souls of uh, of night, because uh, I need eight total, and I already have five on me. So I shouldn't need to to get too many of uh, of these. And uh, looks like the the merchants left. That doesn't matter because I already bought everything that I need. Uh, so yeah, let's just go and take out uh, a few things down here. And there we go. I got another soul of night there. This has been really easy. Sometimes I really struggle uh, trying to to find these. I think I'm just getting I'm getting pretty lucky. The game knows that I'm on a mission. <laughs> the game knows that I want to go and battle Okram. So I think it's a, a making things a little bit easier for me. And all of these bats is good because it doesn't matter how tough the enemies are. So like when you get the bats, you kind of generally get loads of them. Uh, so they're a really good thing just to take out. You can just take out a, a whole load of them uh, really, uh, really quickly. Uh, and uh, yeah, also get a good chance of getting the uh, the souls of night. Right, where should I head to? Normally you want to head to a big cavern. Ah, look up here. There's that big room there. And there's probably going to be a, a good chance that there's going to be uh, lots of googly sporting all the way around there. Uh, so yeah, let's go and keep heading up this way. And uh, yeah, see what see what we can get. Are there any googlies around here? I might use the, the light discs for a bit because I am getting pretty hurt. And the, the light discs are, are quite good at kind of just pushing enemies back and uh, just keeping them uh, away from you so you don't get hurt anymore. And where are all the enemies? Normally when you get to like a big open cavern like this under the, the ground, you normally get absolutely loads of enemies. I wonder if I should... um start trying to set up like any proper farms like a proper like area where I can go to to gather all of these I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know how many more I'm going to to need to to get like once I've got the the better armor so I don't know if, if it's worth actually kind of uh, building a uh, like a proper place in order to to gather this stuff I mean it would be useful for for now I guess and there we go that is another soul of uh, of night so I think I should have uh, as many as uh, as I need but once again just to be safe let's go and get uh, at least one more just uh, just for for safety so I don't need to come the whole way back down there we go that should uh, that should be all that uh, that i need and so now uh, hopefully i have everything there that i need in order to to craft everything so let's just go and uh, throw away some of this uh, this rubbish that uh, i don't really need uh let's just go and throw the the blink root i know it's kind of useful but i don't need it for now i can't be i just can't be bothered to go and put everything in its chest right now i'll be honest <laughs> i'm just being lazy i probably shouldn't throw uh, uh throw them away so yeah let's be good let's go and put some things that away in some of these chests and uh, grashy i do need um I do need some iron bars, so let's go and grab them, and then let's go and put the uh, the iron ore uh, that I mined into to this chest here. Uh, let's go and throw away some of these things. I don't need this uh, this death weed. Uh, let's go and throw away the the mush the glowing mushrooms in here. I have been good keeping everything organized. You have to admit, at some point I thought I was going to lapse and eventually kind of end up just dumping everything everywhere. But so far I have been uh, good and uh, kind of putting things uh, putting things uh, away where they're uh, where they're supposed to go, and it just makes things. So 
so much easier because if I'm trying to, to get something out of a chest, I generally know like exactly uh, where it's going to, to be, which makes things very handy. Uh, so the Cursed Flame should go away in here as well. All right then, let's um let's go and get some crafting done then. So I'm going to go and grab all of the uh, the bones. Do I still have them on me? Oh yeah, I still got the, the bones on me. Uh, I also need... um. Some lenses. I need six lenses because I need to make uh, two of the um, uh, two of the uh, the mechanical eyes, and they need three each. I got my iron on me. I think I might have uh, almost uh, everything that uh, that I need. Oh no, I need the adamantite. Don't I? So I need uh, I need ten of uh, of these bars. So let's go and grab some of them. And I think. I might be wrong. In fact, I'm probably wrong, but I think <laughs> I might have everything there that I need in order to, to craft the uh, suspicious looking skull. So I need two mechanical eyes. Uh, that's them done. I need a, a mechanical skull. I don't think the um, I don't think the mechanical skull is showing up yet. So what am I what am I missing for the uh, the mechanical skull? Uh, oh no, I can make it. It just didn't show up there. So there's the mechanical skull, and there we go. The suspicious looking skull. I am ready. Uh, that is uh, absolutely everything that, that I need uh, in order to to, to battle Okram. So uh, let's go and uh, empty my pockets a little bit. And if you notice, it is still night time. And so it's probably a little bit too late to spawn him for tonight. Well, what time is it? So I need to go down to the battle arena. Yeah, it's it's coming up to like 10 p.m. I think by the time I get down to the battle arena, it might be a little bit too late. I kind of want to maximize the uh, the time I have uh, to, to battle lot cram. So yeah, I'm going to empty my pockets. I'm going to go and grab everything that I need to prepare. I'm going to head down to the uh, the battle arena, and I'm going to cut ahead in the other uh, video. Uh, yeah, once I'm uh, ready to, to go and have round number... Well, actually, I've kind of lost count now. <laughs> Round number whatever it is against Okram. So yeah, I'll be back in just one second. Welcome back. Um, I have waited quite a while. It's annoying because I had to wait the, the entire night time and now the entire day as well. And as you can see, the uh, the sun is now setting behind me. So now it's probably the uh, uh, the perfect time to go down and get ready uh, yeah, to, to go and battle Okram. I haven't really done much, to be honest. I've basically just been standing around <laughs> in the uh, the hotel. I, I cleared my pockets out and I made uh, a few more potions and uh, I gathered uh, I gathered everything that I was going to need. So I can't really remember like how I defeated Orkram last time. To be fair, I probably should have gone and watched it back, but I thought it might be a bit more exciting if I didn't. I can't remember what, like, what weapons I used the most. I think, if I remember, I kind of just switched between a whole bunch of the other uh, different weapons. I mean, the Knight's Edge is obviously my most powerful weapon, but i got to be pretty close. I do remember using the Flamethrower. So I did go and grab that and a bunch of gel, uh, so I can go and, uh, and use that, because I think that's going to be a, uh, a yeah, particularly uh, useful th uh, thing for me to be able to, uh, to use. So I think I'm going to wait up here for a little bit, and then uh, when I think it's about to become night, I'm going to drop down and try and um, uh, take out all of the other enemies. I should probably try and do that now. Look how many bats! Why are there so many bats? Look at all those jungle bats! What are they all doing here? Let's go take out all of them. And the problem with down here is that you get all of these guys. You get all of these armored uh, skeletons and stuff, and they're not too powerful. There's just so many of them, and they seem to be, like, spawning non-stop as well. And they seem to generally stop spawning uh, once Okram arrives. Uh, but yeah, if, like, they've already spawned, they kind of stay loitering down here. So I want to kind of make sure I kind of keep uh, clearing out uh, this bottom area of all of these googly. so I'm ready to, uh, yeah, ready to, to spawn Okram. And yeah, yeah, hopefully try and, uh, and take him out. So if I remember, the first stage of Ogram isn't too bad. He isn't particularly powerful. Like, well, I mean, he's powerful, but nothing that I can't handle. But then it's when he goes to the uh, the second stage is when the real trouble comes. Uh, but the good thing about being down here is um, he's not going to escape. Because one of the biggest problems I've had when battling him is he'll just run away. I'll be there battling him, and I'll just go slightly too far away from him, and he'll just get bored and just wander off and leave me. It was always a, a bit of an awkward end to the uh, the battle, especially if it looked like I was going to win. <laughs> and actually, well, can I... um? I should probably set my spawn down here as well, uh, seeing as that's what this uh, bed's for. So let's go and... Oh, it's not letting me... Do I need to shut the door? Oh, it's not letting me set my spawn. Okay, you know what? Don't worry. I'm feeling pretty confident. I've defeated him before, so I feel like there's there's no real reason uh, why I wouldn't be uh, able to defeat him again. So it's probably going to be nighttime probably any second now. So let's go and get up a, a couple Nimbus clouds here. Uh, this is where I'm going to, to spawn him in. Uh, so the second he spawns, I'm just going to go and then very quickly uh, go and have uh, all of my uh, my potions. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to be ready for, the, uh, ready for the battle. So I think for the first stage... 
I'm going to mainly use the uh, the flamethrower, because I think that's what I did last time, and that seemed to, to work pretty well. And then after that, uh, once he's weaker... Oh, oh it's, it's begun, it's begun, it's begun. Oh, and it's a blood moon as well. Right, let's get these potions. Let's drink all of those potions first, shall we? And right, let's go and uh, let's go and begin the battle. So yeah, flamethrower, flamethrower, flamethrower. Yeah, because I'm able to to get rid of all of the, the servants of Okram with the, uh, the flamethrower, but there are all of these guys around here as well. So let's just go and uh, try and take out all of those archers. And uh, there are a few bats and things as well. Uh, but they don't seem to be uh, causing me uh, too much trouble. I think there might have been a, a potion that I didn't have uh, have time to, to drink because uh, it was down here somewhere. Uh, oh, it's only a night owl potion. But I might as well have that uh, just so I can uh, see things at least uh, a little bit better. So yeah, this first stage really isn't too bad. You can see that I'm not even uh, having to, to do too much dodging uh, just because he's not really doing very much damage uh, whatso uh, uh, whatsoever. Uh, but it's really when he gets to the, uh, the second stage. It's the lasers. It's when he starts using his lasers is when he really starts dealing out uh, the uh, the the absolute massive damage and so that's when the uh, that's when the the big problems are going to to arise so uh, I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna try and use um Maybe like the uh, the spear to damage him, and then when all of the the servants come out, uh, then that's when I can switch to the uh, the flamethrower because uh, that's uh, a really good way uh, to be able to to deal with uh, with all of them. So now they've all come out, I can go and use the uh, the flamethrower. I should probably get some more Nimbus Cloud set up as well. I kind of like uh, setting them up here because uh, if I kind of stand around in that area, uh, then I can keep getting this uh, this heart as well. I just want to try and make sure I have a full heart uh, by the time I kind of go into the the next stage. And you know what? He's doing so little damage against me. I might just use the knight edge. I'm kind of not scared of him when he's in this stage. <laughs> I think I might be able to, to use the knight's edge and just charge in. So I want to battle him quickly because remember time is against me because if it becomes daytime and I haven't defeated him yet, uh, then he's gone. He just disappears and so I really want to make sure that's not going to, to happen and there we go. You can see as soon as I started using the, the knight's edge, I started dealing loads and loads of damage. Right, he's got a bunch more servants, uh, so let's go and use the, the flamethrower because that's a great way uh, to go and take out all of them. There's some jungle creepers as well lurking around here. I didn't think that they were going to show up and you can see it's quite it's quite hard to, to actually hit him uh, as well. It's quite hard to, to know uh, when your, your shots are actually going to, to damage him. Uh, just because, like, he's really big, but not every part of him does damage. It seems to be like the brain. It seems to be like the brain is the uh, the real place uh, that you want to, to try and target. Uh, let's go and set up a, a couple more Nimbus Clouds up here, because they're great, because uh, they're going to kind of continually do damage against him. Like, it's not as effective uh, against him as it is some of the, the other bosses, just because he's not as big as some of them, because he has to be like directly underneath it. So there we go. This is a good time now because that Nimbus Cloud is doing loads and loads of damage because he stayed right under it for a while. But oh no, he's changing. He's changing and he has changed. Yeah, so see where his eyeball is. I think that's kind of where you do most damage. But I kind of couldn't see the eye before uh, when he was in the uh, the first stage. So yeah, now hopefully I'm going to be able to, to do uh, a bit more damage. Right then, he's got a bunch of these servants out. So let's go and, uh, and try and take out as many of, the, uh, of them as we can with the, the flamethrower. And then let's try and use the, the spear, because it doesn't do as much damage as the knight's edge, but I can kind of keep a, a little bit more range from him, uh, which means I should hopefully get uh, uh, less hurt. To be fair, it's really the lasers that do the damage against me anyway, so I don't know, maybe it's worth kind of taking the damage and doing the knight's, uh, uh, do using the, the knight's edge, just because I know I'm going to deal uh, so much more damage against him uh, as well. So let's try and use the, the knight's edge a bit. I'm going to go back here and set up these, uh, uh, these Nimbus clouds again, so they're dealing some damage, and uh, they're they're also going to be really great for dealing with all of the, the servants. You can see there, uh, they did absolutely loads of damage and kind of destroyed uh, almost uh, all of them. And let's use the, the light discs as well, because that's uh, another way uh, for me to, to deal a lot of damage and also... um. Uh, yeah, not take too much damage, because uh, I don't need to, to get too close to him. I don't want to jinx things. So far, things are going things are going pretty well. I don't know what time of day it is. I haven't got a, a watch on me or anything, so I don't know I don't know how close it is to becoming day, but I think I've been pretty quick overall. I don't think uh, I don't think I've been too sluggish, and uh, I'm keeping my health pretty, pretty high up as well. These light discs seem to be a, a pretty effective way uh, to both get rid of all of the, the servants, because uh, the servants are kind of just non-stop coming at the moment. They just seem to, to not be ending. And there we go. That was a load of damage. I'm destroyed him. That was absolutely massive damage I did against him. Like, it didn't look like massive damage just because he's got so much health. It's not like you suddenly saw his health bar go down, uh, but you just saw all of the, the numbers popping up. And he's not an idiot. He's not an idiot. Anytime I try and get close to him with that nice knight's edge, he knows to, to go and, uh, and back off. Maybe using the uh, the mega shark might be uh, quite a, a good idea, because then I can keep uh, even more range than the, uh, the flamethrower. And you'll notice I kind of keep just running past the... Um, 
Uh, that lantern. And no, I don't have. It won't let me switch to the Mega Shark. There we go. There's the Mega Shark. And there we go. I did it. I defeated him. That really wasn't that bad. What is all the fuss about? I do not know. <laughs> right then, let's go and grab all of that. And uh, how many. Where, where are the souls? Oh, there we go. I panicked then. I didn't see any souls. And that's the big thing that I was really after. <laughs> and I didn't see any. And I was getting scared that he didn't drop any. But there we go. I got the uh, I got the souls that I needed. Let's go into uh, a magic mirror back home. And uh, let's have a look at my wares. Oh, I'm wearing some of them. I got spectral armor. So I got a, uh, I think it was a spectral hood last time. Uh, I don't really want it because this is something that's really good for people that use magic a lot. And I really don't use magic much. Oh, I got some armor polish as well. I think that might be useful for some crafting. And oh, it's a blood moon, isn't it? I forgot about that. All right, all right then. So I got the souls of blight. Can I make some dragon armor now? I think I, I think I might be now able uh, to make my uh, my first piece of uh, of dragon armor. So I've basically been making a um. Oh, well, I've, I got a chest in which room is it? I think it's this room with all of the all of the goodies that I need in order to, to make it. So uh, there's the other souls of blight I got from last time. So I got 11 this time and I got 10 last time. So I got one more this time, which is uh, a <laughs> better than better than nothing, I guess. Right. So I need to go and uh, put all of this stuff in my inventory because uh, I need all of this armor. I need to combine all of this armor together to, to make it. Well, I guess I'm only going to be making one piece of it for now anyway. Uh, so let's make a um, let's see if we can make the breastplate for for now i'm gonna have to go one bit of our armor at uh, a time so let's go and just grab all of the uh, the breastplates and uh, i think we can combine all of these uh, in order to to make ourselves the the dragon armor which is pretty much some of the the best armor in the game as well so uh, yeah this isn't any this isn't any small thing <laughs> right let's go to to the uh to here and uh let's see oh was that it there dragon breastplate See, I needed 20 souls of uh, of blight. I needed all of those different types of armor, which individually are pretty good, especially the uh, uh, the uh, the hallowed plate mail. Like that's 15 defense by itself, and uh, this one's going to do 20 defense. So it's a pretty decent increase as well, and that's just for the the breastplate. So what am I waiting for? Let's uh, let's do it. There we go. I now have to. Oh, and I've already put it on. Well, I've put it on as a vanity item at the the moment. So uh, let's go and uh, take this off. And uh, go and put this uh, uh, down there. There we go. I now have myself a dragon press plate. So it also uh, increases my uh, my melee damage uh, and increases my critical strike chance uh, as well. So uh, the plan is uh, to get a, uh, an entire set of this stuff. So of course that means <laughs> a lot more battles with Orkram uh, to get more of the, the souls. But I think I've proven that I can, I can actually do it relatively easily. I think I might even be able to, if I made enough uh, suspicious looking skulls, battle him more than once in a single video. That might even be doable did, did, did the um did this look like it had better defense though see this says it's got 27 defense and this only has 20 if the turtle isn't better is it because i i think do i get a um i think i get a big bonus once i have a a full set of the uh the dragon armor i, I think that's the uh the way it works. i don't know if it says it uh, but i think if i have the uh the entire set it actually ends up then making it better so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep with the uh, the turtle armor for for now i'm gonna go and store this back inside of um uh, of this chest oh where was that oh, yeah this chest here uh, and then yeah once i've made the uh, the full set uh, then i can go and wear it so there we go one piece down uh two more to to go and then i have myself a uh, a full set so i got plenty of souls of might there uh, ready uh, yeah to, to go and get some more and one spare soul of blight hopefully one time when i take him out he's just gonna drop like 50 souls of blight or something because that would be absolutely very convenient now ah, there's a wolf there's also no fantasy got hurt okay this isn't good let's go and uh let's go and shut the door as well because <laughs> Yeah, it is a it is a blood mood at the moment. It is going to become day soon, but yeah, I'd rather I'd rather keep all of my hotel guests uh, safe uh, for the uh, the rest of the uh, the night. Uh, but yeah, uh, sadly that is the uh, the end of this episode here. Uh, as always, there's going to be a link down in the uh, description to the the next episode uh, once I've uploaded it. Above now, and I thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.